What's going on guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace your side mirror covers or upgrade them to a carbon fiber side mirror cover if that is the case. The important thing here is when you're replacing your side mirror covers, you need to be able to transfer over your indicators. Unless you are also replacing your indicators and you have bought your side mirror covers with the indicator already fitted then you don't need to worry about this but if you want to save yourself some coin then transferring over your indicators is definitely going to put a little bit more money back in your pocket as you can just replace your side mirror covers and switch your indicator over to your newer side mirror cover there are two ways you can do this. Now, I've seen some people use brute force in order to remove their side mirror, but I'm going to show you a way where it's not going to cause any damage at all. And you just have to take your time, be a little patient, and you will get there. The last thing you wanna do is break something or crack something just because you're doing it in a way that can damage something. But I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it, and I truly believe that this is the safest method you should follow in order to remove your side mirror covers. So let's get into it and let me show you exactly how it's done. The only tools you're going to need to remove your side mirror covers and even your indicators is a trim removal tool and a T10 torque screwdriver. The first thing you want to do in order to remove your side mirror covers, now you don't have to do this but I'm going to do it just to show you. You bend your mirrors all the way back if you like and with the bottom of your uh, mirror cover you pull it out and up. Okay, so you pull it out and also up. Then you start to work the corners at the same time. So you pull it out and also lift it up as well. Then you hear that click. Now you want to do the same to this side as well. So I pull it out and up. I pull it out and up. And I slowly just work my way around. Okay? Once I have this lower part separated, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly pry along this here with my trim removal tool. So I'm going to pull it out and lift. At the same time, I'm going to pry it. And you'll see it slowly start to separate. I'm going to do the same all along here. So I get my trim removal tool in, I pull it out and up, and then I pull it up. I just keep working my way, and as you can see, it's slowly coming up now. Now that I have this part loose, I can slowly just lift this part up, and it should come all the way up. There we go. As you can see, I have now separated it here. Now it's just a matter of prying this part up here, and it will come loose. So I put my trim removal tool in and there we go. Just like that guys. As you can see, the whole side mirror assembly has come out. Now, just to show you guys, this is what clips it into place, okay? You have a clip here and you also have a clip here and also this slides in at the front here. This tab here, which then clips into this part right here. And then you have these two prongs, which sit inside here. As you can see there, it sits in there. And that's why it, it takes a little bit of um, force to get it out. But rest assured that if you take your time and do it slowly, eventually it's going to come out. Now, I've seen other people do it where all they do is separate the front like I showed you and then with brute force they pull it straight up like that. Now, I'm strongly against that because in doing so you can even scratch this part here. You know, the way I showed you how to do it just then is probably the best way to do it. Now, let's separate the LED from the housing. In order to separate the LED from the side mirror housing, all you have to do is remove these two T10 torque screws and then we can unclip it from there and there and the LED light will slide out. 
So I'm going to use a power tool in this case, but uh, you can just use a T10 screwdriver. Lefty loosey, righty tidy, don't forget. Two screws out. Now, as you can see here, you have two tabs here, okay, that you need to push and it will release the LED light from the uh, side mirror housing. There we go. I've now pushed both clips and now I can push the side, the uh, LED light forward and it will come out. In order to remove this, we need to get it on a specific angle so that it will come straight out. So what I'm trying to do here is push this part out a little bit so that it can come out. Okay, while I, whilst I pull this back. And another important part here is that this part here has a little bit of adhesive. You need to slowly pry that off so that you can get it to unstick. Okay, this part's very important because they use a little bit of glue there so that this part here can isn't flimsy as you install it. Okay, there we go. I've just slid across it and now it has let it go. Now, after I took off the adhesive there, it freed up the LED light so that now I can just simply pull it out find the best possible angle to take this LED light out. Okay, so in this case, as you can see, all I've done is I've pushed it back a little and then I've gone straight across until it freed up the LED light right there, as you can see. And then I simply remove the LED light. And there you go the LED light removed okay now that was pretty simple guys it was that easy to remove the LED light and then in order to uh, switch over your LED light it's basically the same thing all you have to do now is grab your LED light and then in order to reinstall it what you want to do is line it up Okay, so that it has the best possible angle and then push this part in like so there we go it's gone in now just like that and then these two clips you have to press them down so they clip in but you also want to make sure that your LED light is lined up we have everything lined up so now we just have to press it down and it clips into place just like that and you might want to put a little bit of adhesive here, maybe just a little bit of uh, super glue, just to hold the um, this piece of the side mirror cover on, that way it doesn't uh, become floppy. And that's about it. Then you just simply replace your two T10 Torx screws, and uh, you just have to uh, put the uh, case back on and you're pretty much good to go. I'm going to replace the T10 torque screws right now. Two. Now all we have to do is reinstall the side mirror and we're good to go. Okay, so when it comes to refitting your side mirror, what you need to do in this case is make sure that all your tabs line up. Okay, so you have this tab here that lines up with the uh, LED light tab and then you have these clips and all the tabs that are around. All you have to do is once you have everything lined up is push it straight down and it will clip into place. For the sake of this video, I decided to move my front mirror so that um, I could show you how it sits back on. So the most important thing to remember when you go to fit this back on is make sure you line up these two clips and also your LED light which plugs into the blue plug you'll see on the back here, okay? Right there, there's a blue plug right there. See that blue plug there? Just make sure that your LED light, this thing here, right there, plugs into 
this blue part here. And then you can simply just push it straight back on. So here I am now, I'm just going to line it all up, as you can see. I'm going to line this up with this here. It will sit over the top. Okay, and then this clip here will sit there and your LED light will plug straight directly into the blue plug, like so. And then all you have to do now is push straight down and it will everything will click back into place. Don't mind all this red cabling, that is for another video. And that's it. Just for the sake of the video, I'm going to reinstall my uh, mirror. So I'm going to plug it back in. And this is how easy it is to refit your mirror back in. I'm going to plug back in the heater, the, the heater setting for your side mirrors. Line it up, line up the tabs with your, line up the tabs and then simply push back in and it should clip into place. That's it. Perfect. Done. Oh. Bang. There you have it. A quick and easy video on how to remove your side mirror covers and your side indicators properly. Okay? Not the way with using brute force, but removing it slowly and carefully so that you do not risk the possibility of breaking anything in the process or scratching anything for that matter. Also, before I go, just to give you guys a hint about the red cable that you saw inside my side mirror covers. If you've been following me on YouTube and also Instagram, you'll know that I am now doing a video on a retrofit for puddle lights. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to subscribe and for everyone else, stay tuned for that video on uh, how to retrofit puddle lights for your Mercedes-Benz W204. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, don't forget to hit that notifications bell so you're notified every time I release another video. This is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. Until next time, guys.